Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide uh, on how to create a brand kit in Canva. If you are a business person, if you're an entrepreneur, if you are a creator or just someone that wants to simplify their life with creating any type of marketing related content, then this video is a must watch for you. Let's start by logging into uh, our Canva. And just FYI, a brand kit is something that is only available in a premium version of Canva. So uh, if you don't have a premium version, you can just start a free trial for 14 days and see if this works for you. Uh, and you know, and if you decide to continue, that's cool. Uh, I, I personally think it just saves a lot of time. So we are going to click on brand here on the left side and menu. And then in the upper right corner, you have add new. I'm going to name my brand kit tutorial, brand kit, and click create. And boom, here you have multiple things that you can add to your brand kit. This might be logo, colors of brand, fonts, and so on and so forth. And as you will add things here, they will continue to be handy anytime you will create any type of uh, or anything that is uh, related to your brand. I'm going to show you that in a second. But let's just start with adding a few elements. Uh, in order to do that, you can either, of course, drag and drop like a normal file to any cloud uh, service, but you can also click add new and you can click upload logos. I'm going to you know, go to uh, my brand identity folder. And as you can see, I have a couple of uh, different formats here. I'm going to add the PNG, click open. And, you know, files are being uploaded one after another. As you can see, I have logos in many different versions, so you can just, you know, uh, upload one or, or multiple. And uh, if you have your color palette, uh, you can just add the colors here. So you are doing this by adding the um, the, the hash or, or a code of the color. I don't know, however, this is actually called professionally, but uh, as you can see, I have my brand here. And once I'm going to copy and paste this, I'm going to add it in my color palette. And here you are adding a second color, right? So we're copying and pasting this. Uh, if you don't have your brand book, you can just, you know, pick your colors. And that's what is cool about it is that whenever you are going to use a particular color or you are going to need it, you will not have to choose or look for it. It will be just here with, with, within the reach of, of a click. Uh, fonts, you can also add fonts, choose which one is for the header, which one is for the heading. You can also upload the font uh, by choosing the one from, uh, from your computer. So I'm going to go to the brand folder. I'm going to go to the font folder and choose, you know, whichever I like. And what you are going to see here is that uh, you are going to see the pop-up if you actually have the rights to use the font. So make sure that uh, you are okay with copyrights when it comes to you know, all of these. And Canva is going to add this font here. And as I will choose the, um, the heading, as you can see, when I will type in the name of the font, it will be here. So until you will not upload it, you can just choose the fonts that Canva has included, which might be pretty good for you or, or just fine if you don't have your uh, brand identity you know, done by a designer or, or a professional. And here you can choose the fonts for each um, things that you are going to use, which also can you know, speed things up for you later on. I'm not going to go through all of these. You can also add photos. You can add different elements of graphics. You can add icons. So a lot of things that you can use later on if you have things that you're using regularly because you have an avatar of a brand or you have any other type of thing that you are using, you can just upload it in here. Uh, I'm going to go back to the brand. I'm going to show you ours. How does it look when this is all filled in? And you have, as you can see, photos in here. A lot of these photos, uh, graphics, no graphics, no icons, because we are using the icons from, from Canva. So uh, how does it work in practice once you put it all together? When you will create any new type of design, let's click in the upper right corner, create a design. And I'm going to choose a Facebook post, for example. And I would like to, you know, 
use my brand colors and, and things uh, on this particular design. So once you will click on, uh, for example, on this one, already you can see here in the color palette, in the upper uh, section of that, your brand colors. So I'm going to choose uh, the, the green one, and then I'm going to add a text in here, and I'm going to add a title, random title. And as you can see here, my font, my, my brand font is already being used for this one. So this is super cool because I don't even have to change it. This is sort of a default setting for my Canva to recognize it. We're going to go ahead and add something from our brand elements. And in order to do that, I'm going to click brand. And as you can see here, I have already, you know, a couple of templates that I've created uh, recently for posts, but I also have logos. I'm going to click logo, boom, my logo is here. If I like it, then that's cool. If not, then I can, you know, change for, for the other one. I'm going to add uh, a picture. So in order to do that, I'm going to choose something from the photos. Boom, my pretty wife here. And if I want also, I can use a background remover, edit photo, remove the background. I have a separate video on that. So if you would like to check it out, then that's cool. And as you can see, the cre process of creating something new is simplified greatly because all of the things, including your colors, your your brand feeling are within the reach of a click. So uh, I hope that uh, this will help you to, you know, speed things up when it comes to content creation and creating visuals for your projects. Now, let me know if you would like to see any other videos about Canva or any other type of software that you feel is important in uh, marketing and sales efforts. And if you are enjoying this video, if this was useful, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day ahead and thanks for watching.